Hi there, Steve Harding again from Symphonic Source. You may be familiar with the Dupe Catcher Override feature, the feature that allows you to bypass a blocked duplicate and insert it into the Salesforce org. In this video, I want to go over some configuration settings that in some cases you may need to set for Override to be available for all of your users. First thing though, I want you to check to make sure that the Dupe Catcher Managed Package is fully deployed. This is a common issue and fully deploying the package can solve a lot of problems. Go to Setup, View Installed Packages, and Dupe Catcher. If you see an Active Deploy button, click it and then click Deploy again on the second page and you'll be good to go. Next, some reminders. Override only functions with Salesforce Enterprise Edition and higher as it relies on the Salesforce API. Further, the override button only appears for dupe catcher filters that are set with a matching action of do not insert or do not update. Remember, this action blocks the duplicate but keeps the user on the record edit page. And lastly, the override button only appears on insert when you actually click save or when saving changes from the edit screen. It does not appear when using inline editing or when using a quick create lookup window. Now to the settings. Again, your filter matching action needs to be set to do not insert or do not update. Then, on the Dupe Catcher Application Settings tab, you need to select the checkbox labeled Allow Override of Blocked Duplicates and click Save. Now in most cases, this is all you'll need to do. However, occasionally in orgs with complex profiles and roles, the override feature may not have been enabled for all profiles and you will need to do so manually. This is very easily done. Go to Setup, App Setup, Develop, Apex Classes, and find the Override Triggers for Edit page, and you'll want to click on the Security Hyperlink. Simply move the profiles that need to have access to the Override button from the left to the right, and click Save. You'll also want to make sure that the API is enabled for all relevant profiles. This is easily done by going to Setup, Administration Setup, Manage Users, Profiles. Select a profile and scroll down to the administrative permissions to verify that the API is enabled. And if not, click Edit and enable the API for this profile. It's as simple as that. For more tutorial videos, see our YouTube channel, and for more information, see our website. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook for the latest updates. And lastly, be sure to tell us what you think of Dupe Catcher and what your data management and Salesforce pains and challenges are. Thanks.